This video shows how to assemble our small surprise box. It is a full assembly video, showing all steps. The cut files are available to download for free, on our website, freelaserfiles.com. This is a glue together model and it will be assembled using wood glue, from a small squeeze bottle. The one shown is made entirely of 3mm Baltic birch plywood. However, you could use any suitable 3mm thick material. This model is not scalable, as altering the file would change the dimensions of the joints and gears. The joints are drawn with slight tolerance, just in case you use a slightly thicker material. Before you start your assembly, it is important to understand the markings on parts 10 and 15. There are triangles and circles on both pieces. It is important that these markings are aligned while fitting the lid. The assembly begins with the shaft and lift arm. You need parts 11, 12, and 13. Two small discs numbers 14 the drive cog, number 15, and disc number 17. Apply glue to part number 13. Note that on 11, 12, and 15, there are four arrows. These are to ensure the parts are assembled correctly. Turn over part 12 and insert the large tab of 13 into the back. The cog fits onto these parts next. Apply glue as shown. And fit the cog in place. The marked side of the cog goes towards the shaft. With the cog correctly in place, the arrows will align. You can now attach the lift arm, part number 11. The shaft is inserted into the unmarked side of the lift arm. Apply glue and slide the arm in place. Again you can check that the parts are correctly assembled by the alignment of the arrows. Use a rubber band to hold the pieces while the glue dries. Glue a small disc, part number 14, onto the end of the shaft. There will be a small gap between the cog and the disc. Next, attach the two discs to the opposite end of the shaft. Again there will be a small gap between the discs. Double check that everything is aligned, and this can be left to dry. Next you can assemble the lid from parts 8, 9, 10, and 16. The tabs and slots on these parts are sized to ensure correct assembly. The part numbers and marking need to be towards the center of the lid. This ensures that the parts go on the correct side of the lid. Use several small clamps to hold the pieces in place.
any excess glue would need to be cleaned off as it could affect the sliding of the lid. Turn over the lid and glue the handle, part number 16, in place. Your lid is now complete and can be left to dry. You can now assemble the box body from parts numbers 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Apply glue to the back and bottom joints of part number 3. And to the tab of the bottom, part number 5. Put the bottom in place. Apply glue to the bottom joint of the back, part number 7, and to the two tabs. Put the back into place. Wipe away any excess glue. Next apply glue to the joint for the front, part number 6. The front joint doesn't go all the way to the top of the side. So be careful not to take the glue all the way to the top of the side. Apply a small bead of glue along the edges and tabs of the parts, and work the remaining side into place. Secure the box with several rubber bands and leave this to dry. When the box is dry, remove the rubber bands. Also remove the clamps from the lid and the rubber band from the shaft. You can now fit the shaft into the box. Start by fitting the small disc on the cog side into the hole on the left side of the box. Ease out the right hand tab slightly and fit the disc into the hole. Your shaft and lift arm will now swing freely. To insert the lid, carefully spread the top of the box slightly and put the lid in place with the slide limit tab up against the inside of the front panel. Spin the lift arm into the upright position and lower the left side of the lid until the triangles on the lid and cog align. 
Your lid is now in place and you can check the operation by sliding it in and out. You can also check the lid and shaft alignment by closing the lid. This will align the two circles on the cog and the lid. The final assembly step is to attach the side panels. Apply glue to the box sides, being careful not to get any near the sliding parts. Put clamps around the box to hold the parts. Temporarily remove the bottom clamps and apply several rubber bands. Now put the bottom clamps back in place. Your box is now complete. You can glue a toy spider or any other small item onto the lift arm. A hot glue gun works well for this. Alternatively you can attach the message plate and the small platform to carry small surprises. We hope that you have enjoyed assembling this model, and that you will consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, to enable us to keep producing, free laser files. Thank mm -hmm. you.